super trucks for Anki Overdrive. Now, if you chat with the channel, you'll recognize Skull and Guardian, Inferno and Big Bang. But what's this? We've also got brand new trucks for Anki Overdrive, the first of which is X52. Now, this introduces all sorts of new style of gameplay. Not only new controls to guide your super truck around the track, but also new weapons and also new modes. As you can see, they're articulated in the middle, rubberized wheels at the back, big chassis of the trailer there and then the main powerhouse at the front apparently the gearing is different in these super trucks they've got more torque it takes them longer to get up to speed but once they're going they've got much more momentum of course the lights at the front that show you when their weapons are being activated and there's also a light on the back to show you when they're being hit now you can have multiple trucks going around the course at the same time and of course we need another truck to come and join the battle and that is in the form of freewheel so a bit more of a european style cab here they haven't got that big engine sticking out the front it's underneath the driver We've got a sort of cow catcher green metallic paint there as we go towards the back of the truck again you can see it's not quite as high off the ground as x52 but um certainly has that articulation again in the middle and as it goes around the track the, the, the tail the trailer of the truck follows round in a staking three, fashion two, now of course you need to control one. these trucks and the screen on the Anki overdrive app is a bit different you've got a press button go. for the accelerator that goes up and down on the top right there you've got the pulse ram which is a weapon at the front i should talk about in a second and the smasher which is a weapon at the back and you've also got a rage mode here which puts the truck into unstoppable plowing through the enemies any car in front of it gets shoved out of the way with a pulse beam that sends it flying at top speed get that right in the corner and they absolutely leave the track now when you're not in rage mode you can use that pulse ram weapon so when you're behind someone you press it and it gives them a shove like, like you saw there um absolutely sends them flying if you do this on a corner they'll get sent off if you don't want to straight then you may well give them a shove and get them out in front of you so you do have to be tactical about when you use that and there's also a smasher weapon at the back that drops a smashing charge and will disable cars behind you. And with that, it looks like we've pretty much won this race. Now, as we carry on looking at how these trucks go around the course in some super slow motion footage I've got, let's talk about the different modes. In truck takeover mode, all of the cars on the track are racing around separately, but take down the truck and you get the chance to take over the controls of it and start scoring points. So whoever's in control of the truck can then score kills and accrue up to their total. The first one to, usually a total of five, will then win the round. But if another car takes you down, then they take control of the truck and can start scoring points for themselves as well. So it's a little bit like King of the Hill, but with the truck is the king. King of the truck, perhaps, but that is truck takeover. There's also another truck mode, truck battle, where one player controls the truck and the other players are in cars. Now, I quite like the idea of teaming up cars against trucks in that team mode. But essentially, you battle it out. But of course, one player is controlling that truck, which is slower to get started, has a, has a higher momentum when it's going and a completely different set of weapons. So the way that feels to play is very different from the other car versus car battle games. As you can see, we've got a race underway here with Guardian, Nuke and X-52. Now I want to have a look at this pulse ram weapon as you can see we're tapping away and Nuke here is in front of the truck and gets absolutely shoved off of that corner manages somehow to get back on track but a simple tap of the button timed well will oh there goes Guardian as well absolutely mayhem as these cars go flying and the truck then can then take over and charge to a victory but also has to be wary of the cars teaming up and taking him down as well. Now, of course, all this comes together for the truck takedown and truck battle mode. So let's have a look at how we are applying these tactics here. We've got ground shock, we've got Ferno, and we've got X-52 in battle. And we discovered that you could do much more than just the actual weapons. Because of the physical nature of Anki, get a car behind the truck and swerve out of the back, and you've got a good chance of, there, there, like ground shock's doing, of getting its rear end right out and taking it off the track. Of course, the truck has more momentum and more power as ground shock almost completely wipes x52 out but x52 comes back and pulse rams ground shot right off the table and 
inferno as well getting sent flying. So let's fast forward a bit. You can see how the trucks wiggle and wind their way around the course. Again, you can steer them left and right like you can of any, any Anki overdrive. And again, from the top, you get to see a bit more of the tactics as Ferno weaves left and right to try and get the back of the truck out. Um, but X-52 is having none of it, almost wiping out Nuke, but managing to pretty much stay on course. And again, the cars are obviously fighting each other as well. As X-52 comes round, I think it's got his pulse round ready. And yes, sends Nuke absolutely flying. So that was a perfect use of that pulse round weapon that gets X-52 the victory and I think well-deserved. Now, as we wrap up, these Anki Overdrive Super Trucks will be available later in the year. They're $59.99, which is only £10, $10 more than you're paying for a car. So to my mind, the amount of gameplay and the amount of extra physical fun you're having with them, they're pretty good value. Now, at our preview event, we have recorded three or four full races so you can see exactly how the truck takeover and the truck battles work. They'll be on the channel pretty much as soon as this video is up and we'll put them up here so you can link and click them through. Do subscribe to the channel so you know we've got new Anki Overdrive videos coming up and also leave us a comment. Do you think you'll be jumping in for super trucks? Is this the sort of thing you're going to be after? Are you going to be an X-52 or a freewheel kind of Anki super truck racer? Let us know. We'll be in the comments just as soon as this video goes live. <laughs>